one of the first signs that fall is nearing is the budding of goldenrod. Goldenrod is one of my favorite seasonal herbs. Not only does it make a great addition to homemade flower arrangements, but it's one of the herbs that I like to keep on hand for my fall apothecary. Goldenrod has many beneficial uses, but the way I prefer to use it in the fall is for seasonal allergies. Its toning and drying actions are great for the upper respiratory system, and it's particularly helpful for allergies that affect the eyes and the nose. I use it to dry up mucus that's caused by allergies, leaving my nose runny and itchy, or the back of my throat with an itchy filling that won't go away. When using goldenrod for this purpose, I prefer to use it in tincture form. For myself, I'll take about 10 drops every 30 to 60 minutes, as often as needed to help my symptoms. It looks like I'm not the only one that's a fan of goldenrod. Goldenrod flowers contain volatile oils and their scent and color drives the bees wild. Goldenrod is a relatively safe herb. However, if you have allergies to plants in the Asteraceae family, you may want to use caution. Also, if you have any sort of kidney or heart disease, it's wise to speak with your doctor before taking any new herbs. Goldenrod can be harvested any time after the flowers have formed and are mature on the plant. To harvest goldenrod, simply snip the top 8 to 10 inches of each flower stalk. Goldenrod can be dried and stored for later usage in infusions, tinctures, and salves, or it can be used fresh in fresh tinctures and infusions. One of the ways I like to use my freshly harvested goldenrod is to make a tincture and use this for my seasonal allergies. All you need is freshly harvested goldenrod a glass jar with a lid, a small piece of unbleached parchment paper and a pencil, some alcohol of your choice, I like to use brandy, a cutting board, and a sharp knife. There are several ways to make herbal tinctures, but one of my favorites is to make my tinctures using what's called the folk method. The folk method is a very intuitive process. It makes effective preparations, and it's easy for the beginner herbalist. To make an herbal tincture using the folk method, you'll want to sort through your freshly harvested goldenrod, picking off any bits of the flowers or the leaves that have been eaten by bugs or are dirty. Once you've finished sorting through your goldenrod, you'll want to start by finely chopping the flowers on a cutting board with a very sharp knife. But be careful, don't cut yourself.
You'll notice that as you chop the goldenrod flowers, their aroma is released. Along with the flower heads, I also like to chop a little bit of goldenrod stem and leaves into my mixture as well. This helps me to feel like I'm getting more of the whole plant in my preparation than the flowers alone. As soon as you have your fresh plant material chopped as finely as you'd like, it's time to add it to a jar. Now, you'll wanna select a jar that's the right size for the amount of tincture you wanna make. Since I'm only using my goldenrod tincture for seasonal allergies, I only wanna make a small amount, and so I'm using a small jar. I'm filling my jar half to three-fourths full of my fresh plant material and just covering it with my alcohol. When you've finished covering your fresh herb with alcohol, you'll want to take your piece of parchment paper and pencil and label the parchment paper with the name of the herb, the type of alcohol you're using, and the day's date. You'll place this parchment paper between the glass jar and the lid. This helps to keep any chemicals sprayed on the lid from coming into contact with your herb and alcohol mixture. Now that you've finished preparing your tincture, you'll want to store it in a cool, dark location such as a cabinet and let it sit for about six weeks, remembering to shake it as often as you can. Thank you so much for watching today's video. I hope it encourages you and inspires you to give Goldenrod a try and to make it a part of your fall apothecary this year. If you enjoyed today's video, I would appreciate it if you would give it a thumbs up. And if you haven't already, I'd love it if you'd subscribe to my channel for more natural living inspiration.